my keys. Drop it there carefully, and then I turn it a little, and then I pick it up flat, and then I turn it a little bit. I do this because it's liquid, so it's gonna have like a little drop on the side, and I don't want it to run on the area that doesn't have uh, works. So I just want to go there, shake it a little, and I put it flat, go up. I see that everything is covered, and when it's dry, I can just like turn it over. I don't pull it up and turn, because this drop will go on the side, so it will be lots where we don't want that. Depending on the pieces, like always think where there is wax, it's not going to be legs. Okay? So, careful with the splashes. When we use this one, apply the wax in here. We always put it on the table upside down, wax on the top for it to dry and avoid touching the wax in another pot because you can transfer the wax. Um, avoid touching pots with wax for the same reason. Um, there are some pieces, so this one would be the same, you mm -hmm. just go there, you just make sure that you have like a, almost like a quarter of an inch, oh, up the side. Yeah, yeah. You can also go here and then like turn a little bit around, so the work is going to go a little bit higher. Uh, is sometimes the glaze, when you apply it, you're it here now, but in the skin it melts, so it's going to run a little bit down. So it's safer to leave more space so the place can run a little and not get stuck.
show you with my little kids. And then I can show you guys with my pieces. Bring my pieces. I always stare again. Then we want the tongs. Important things, every bucket has one stick and one tongue. We don't interchange because we don't want contamination of the glazes. So I hold my piece. I look for like a consistent spot where I can like hold my piece. I don't go like right at the end or something where I can like move the piece or break it. Uh, for example, in this one, I will go here because that part is weaker, so you can have more risk of breaking it or lose the piece in the bucket. <laughs> um, okay, so I go here on top of the table, hold it with my hand, like move it, make sure that it's right there. And then here I grow how much time do you need to be in the bucket. Uh, all those three is like three seconds and out. And this one is up to six seconds and out, okay? So when I go with my piece inside, I'm just gonna dip it and count. Like one, two, three, four, five, and out. Okay, I am i don't leave it there. I'm always like moving it. Oh, okay. And then when I pull it out, this one is like super flat, but I would still go in that side. For the glaze that is here, I want it out. I don't wanna, I don't want it inside. Yeah. So I always like flip it upside down and then shake it. It's gonna dry, dry like pretty fast because all the water is gonna be absorbed by the clay. And then when it's dry, what I'm gonna do is clean the bottom because it's gonna have like little little bubbles of clay, mm -hmm. of wax, or base, yeah. sorry. And then I can just like so take it in my hand. Yeah, oh, okay. I'm gonna put like another bucket. We have another bucket there, so it should be fine. Maybe a few more sponges. And then when it's here and it's dry, I can just like put it on the table. Okay. Right when it's out, don't touch it until it's dry. Otherwise, you're gonna make it the hole on the glaze. I'm gonna show you and then saying the same things. Okay. okay. In this one, same thing. It's not pretty deep. So yeah. if I go and touch the bottom, the bottom is gonna be always still a bit thicker. So I don't want that. Uh, so if you guys need it. help, as someone else as me, yeah. we can fill the, the bucket so we have more depth. Okay. I will go in. One, one two, two, three, four, five, six, out. And I pull it upside down, I shake it. You see how there is yeah. almost no glaze. It's not a stick on the clay. Okay. Shake it. You, you know it's getting dry already. It's mm -hmm. just a little bit wet there. Now I take the bucket. It's squished, no water. We don't need water there. And then I go over the wax to clean it up. Clean the bottom. Always avoid touching the glaze when it's applied on the piece with your hands wet, otherwise you're gonna remove it. And then we see the yeah, two, two holes dots. from the tongs. <laughs> uh, best things or first option is with your nail. You can just like push the glaze that is around in, in different directions until it's covered. If it doesn't cover it, that it does, you can always take a little bit more. We have like brushes here. Oh, I see. You can always yeah, go yeah. here and tap it, but don't overstress about that. Like the glaze is gonna melt and it's gonna cover pretty much everything. So this should be fine. Bottom clean, always double check that it's clean. And once it's done, we are gonna go on the, to the table, put it on the table. I'm gonna put like different boards with the glaze that we have applied and then we're gonna put it in this board because those three glazes are fired at one temperature and this one goes to another temperature. 